back to another episode of City Skyline. So last episode what I worked on was this intersection and we got um, I believe this uh, part of this park all designed. Now I wanted to continue uh, working on this uh, today because uh, we only got half of it designed and I want we still have like this whole area that I want to uh, basically set up and stuff like that. So um, Maybe put a campground over on this side. We might be able to blend that in a little bit with the um, mountainside there. And we'll see if we can't uh, do some stuff up here as well. Uh, just to kind of blend in the environment a little bit more. Um, I know that there's a lot of trees and foliage and stuff over on this side. We did a really good job with that. Um, last episode I might be able to kind of show this I'm not sure what time of day it is it's a little hard to see I think it's just rising so we got all the um, little campsite over here now there's some picnic benches and stuff like that and then they can follow this path and a lot of people are coming through here to get to the uh, this part of the city as well and some even go this direction a little bit further from down over here to get to a location as well so that really helps with the transit part uh, rather than them having to walk all the way around like that they can just go from here down to here uh, without having to go all, all the all that way so they can go directly to work that way uh, by foot even so that's really good um, but yeah definitely I wanted to get some stuff set up maybe even put the campground over here uh, we'll see if we can't fit that in other campgrounds over here so Maybe we can work on that, and we'll see what we can do. So, if we go to the park settings, and I think it's the this one right here, we'll be able to fit some stuff in here, some tents, and can we have that other thing there? So we won't be able to fit too much in this side. Might even want to move that a little bit over to the center. So, something like that. And then that goes directly up. We smoothed that out last episode, too. So, we'll see if we can't get um, some picnic benches and stuff in here. Maybe some rocks over on the back side. Something like that, maybe.
culprit of the um, issue where we're having uh, money go down quite quickly. And that was actually due to a global policy, which was set to services and then power usage. So basically what was happening was we were draining our money every time that <laughs> uh, night came around because uh, the, they would this was enabled so basically you have to be really careful what policy thing that you're in because I thought I was setting it up for one of the buildings here like one of the districts but I must have enabled it by accident for the entire city so um, as you can see the money is going way up I've seen it go up to like 30 something thousand so it's doing a lot better now <laughs> just like I was just going through the policies and going okay well I don't really need that there I don't really need that and then I'm like hold on a second this is enable but so is every other one around here I'm going hmm is it a global policy and this was checked I'm like ah that's what it was okay so I'm glad we got that sorted out hopefully it will be a little bit better uh, now that we got that disabled um, let's see here we have all this area over here that I wanted to eventually expand to uh, at the moment we only have the university um, building over here I'm not sure how the university is doing it we're still level four we don't have enough students, unfortunately. Uh, policies. Let's see if we can't increase that. Student healthcare, free lunch, visiting scholars. We might be able to enable that. And... Oh, yeah, that's right. There was that um, sports stuff as well for the um, university. We might be able to plop that down over here as well. Let's see if we can't find some room for that. I might be able to put it over in this side. That would be good because there's this transit line that I was going to hook up eventually. Um, haven't hooked it up just yet to anything, but I wanted to kind of build um, or expand on to this side here. And then might be able to buy that out actually right now. That would give us a little bit more room too. Okay, let's go here. How much is that going to cost? 15000 We can afford that. So we got that square. Um, I'm not sure what's there, but it's a lot of flat land, so we can definitely use that. And there's the airport as well that we can expand onto. So, let's flatten this out a little bit. And we'll tend to that part. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of terrain here that we'll have to kind of adapt to. So I'm going to start with this part. Keep our airport at a lower level.
university has her first uh, sports thing, sports event thing going on. Um, it's currently against Rockfield Eagles, so we'll see if we can't um, win a match there. Uh, ticket prices are like 30, so hopefully we can get a little bit of profit from that. Um, I'm not sure how many people turned up. We have... 594, 95, or 595 people out of 750, so that's not too bad for the size of the stadium. And it's still going up. i um, not sure how much that would get us, about times 30, so probably a decent amount of money. Uh, currently, we don't have any expense so for running this uh, building, which is great. So any profit that we do get through ticket sales, we will get for um, basically the um, thing. I don't know what those numbers up there are for. Oh, that's the chirp thing. It goes through the, the window. <laughs> I swear this game has so many bugs that are still not fixed. And yet it's like considered released. And I'm just like, ugh. That's why I don't really like playing too many Paradox games anymore. Because it's just, they're not that great. And, I mean, just look at City Sky Skylines 2. I mean, that just went <laughs> downhill pretty quickly. Alright, so we got... Uh, yeah, this actually might be a great location for that building. Like, I put the metro rail in so they could just easily hop across, go out on the metro rail, and go to the stadium. So, kind of goes that way until they get there. Not sure how many people are actually using it. Doesn't look like anyone at the moment, but and I also put a uh, parking lot over on this side as well. I'm hoping that will kind of alleviate the um, parking for the stadium, but I'm not sure if all of it's actually used or not. So <laughs> um, looks like there's quite a few stalls still empty. So I'm not sure if that's going to be fixed up or anything like that, but. Hopefully it will work out. Um, there is some parking over here, but not a whole lot. And I was thinking about decorating a little bit of this area as well, but we, that, that's not a huge importance at the moment. And what I want to do is now that we have all this area open, I want to kind of flatten that down a little bit. And then we can start working on when we get to that university stuff, we can start working on that. So flatten this out a little bit and one of the other things that we want to do
got a little bit of our airport all set up now. Uh, I got it to level three, the maximum level for our airport. We unlocked cargo um, terminals and cargo basically the uh, things. We're going to need a new section, I think, for that particular thing. And I was already planning on bringing this over to roughly here. So we might be able to connect that up directly to the highway as well. Uh, similar to what we did over here, but a little bit different. We'll do a roundabout system um, to connect it up. But that will be probably next episode. We'll have to uh, probably get rid of a lot of soil and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that I need to kind of flatten out in here to build that um, runway and everything like that. Uh, I did start putting fences around, but then I realized that there was cargo no cargo terminals that we could basically use. So I'll basically have to do that next episode and finish that up. But I decorated it a little bit more, and uh, there's some flowers along the edges here, with some grass, and it just makes it look a lot better, I think. And um, yeah, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.